A few years ago, during what I thought was a routine blood test, I discovered I had a lump on my brain. Thankfully, a very benign lump. We like to think of ourselves as immortal. We don't want to see the full stop. My diagnosis was a shock. I felt alone and suddenly disconnected from my body. But if we choose to explore our bodies, the possibility of hope is endless. This is the second of three films exploring AXA's role in research that's changing our lives for the better. I don't know about you, but I've often grown up thinking it's nature versus nurture, like the two were mutually exclusive concepts. But what if they're not? What if you got your genetic blueprint but could do things in your life here and now that made your chances of living a longer life better? I'm off to meet a guy who unlocks the secrets of our bodies and helps us to live better now. Peter, I'm someone who, running slightly contrary to the flow, is not tired of experts. I love an expert, and you're the main man here today. Uh, tell me what the acts of funding has meant for you and the work that you do. The acts of funding has been fundamental to my research. I've been able to look at how DNA differences between you and I might affect how long each of us live. The AXA Research Fund is interested in funding research about some of the big themes in our society, things like big data, things like climate change. So I put forward my proposal to study how DNA affects lifespan. And when it comes to analysing genetics, presumably there is no more interesting case study than twins. That's right. So twins have been the sort of cornerstone of much genetic research for a long, long time. In what sense are particularly identical trends truly identical? So we see things like eye colour, whether your hair is curly, but then a lot of the more interesting traits um, are not necessarily identical to them. And for me, things like uh, two identical twins will often not suffer from the same diseases. They'll almost certainly not live exactly the same amount of time. I'm Ross. I'm Hugo. And we're the Turner Twins. We go off on expeditions all over the world. And as we're twins, it allows medical research teams to study how our bodies are affected in extreme environments. Individually, we're not that interesting, but I guess as a, as a huge research yeah. study and you build it out, it then suddenly starts becoming an incredibly valuable data set. So yeah. it's a really, really exciting to kind of be part of some pioneering research as twins that we can kind of go off and do our expeditions and come at it from a slightly different angle. I mean, my, my dad was an identical twin and he went on to develop uh, three primary cancers over 20 years and, my, and passed away two years ago. And my uncle's still alive and thriving and has never, ever been been touched with a, with a day of cancer. I don't think a lot of people know actually how much research, time, effort, professionalism, you know, the greatest minds in the world are actually working on problems that we might not appreciate now, but in 10, 20 years time, the advances in medical research and understanding and the techniques that um, are able to treat you know, such conditions will be so, so far beyond what they are today. You've given good data and for that we thank you. God, I envy you. Look at you. How much would you say our lives are dependent on our genes and how much is predicated on things like lifestyle, healthy eating, exercise, all that sort of stuff? About a sixth of how long we live, for example, is under direct genetic control. Um, the, re the rest of it's about environment and, in fact, the interaction between those two things. I'm actually surprised by what a small number that is, actually, because sometimes you feel like you're under the cosh of your own heredity. You know, you sort of feel that, oh, I'm born with this sort of genetic sequencing that's absolutely going to dictate. But you're saying that really we have so much free will in terms of how we navigate our health and well-being. Absolutely. You and I um, both have about three billion letters in this huge genome that we keep hearing about. And what I'm trying to do is understand how individual pieces of that genome affect how long we live. For me, it's, it's not just how long we live, but it's how well we live. I think that it's more fundamental. And I think by understanding the ageing process and understanding susceptibility to disease, um, it's very much my hope that as we live longer, we live healthier and happier mm. as well. When I was diagnosed, things changed. Suddenly, my insides felt alien, like they were working against me. I was stunned by how little control I felt I had over my own body. But I've learned today we're already much further along the journey of understanding ourselves than people thought possible. Genetic research, being supported by the AXA Research Fund, means we can comprehend our specific needs and nourish them. Like all the great moments in human experience, this is possible because of collaboration. Scientists, volunteers and those willing to adventure have combined to unlock the deepest mysteries within all of us.